Welcome to the Upload Image Data in the Cloud with Azure Storage Lab. I'm an Azure Administrator as well as an Azure Solutions Architect. This lab is one of a series. In this lab, you will learn how to deploy a web app that uses the Azure Blob Storage Client Library to upload to a storage account. When you are finished, you will have a web app that stores and displays images from Azure Storage. In the second lab of the series, you will use a vent grid to trigger an Azure function to resize an image. So this is a four-part lab. In this lab, you will create a storage account, create a container and set permissions, retrieve an access key, deploy a web app to Azure, configure app settings, and interact with the web app. Hey, welcome to another lab. As it said in the opening, we're going to create a storage account. Uh, we're going to set some permissions. Well, create a container, set some permissions on that container. Then we're going to retrieve an access key for the storage account. And then we're going to deploy a web app to Azure, configure some app settings, and then interact with the web app. So this is a, uh, a four series lab. And, and this, is this is the first part of the four series. And we're gonna deploy our storage group knowledge with our web app knowledge and see how this is really can be used in the real world. Now, some of this information is development code, but as an Azure administrator or hopeful web uh, Azure administrator architect, you're gonna work with developers and you need to you know, administer or create the logic apps or administer the logic apps for them. So this uh, gets you uh, involved with that necessary uh, knowledge and skill set. So uh, first thing I did was I created a storage group called Speed Storage. I mean, not storage, a resource group uh, called Speed Storage. And we're going to create a storage account called Speed Storage Lab. And we're going to do all this through uh, PowerShell. Uh, but if you want to follow along with the portal, I'm going to do the PowerShell command and then look at the portal and see what it did. Uh, this is another way. Actually, we're not using PowerShell. I, I take that back. We're going to be using the uh, command line interface. Uh, so this will get you used to using Azure and the command line interface. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started creating the storage account. I'm going to be using the PowerShell ISE, but if you need to, uh, if you don't have that set up, you can use the Cloud Shell. So uh, let's go back to the ISE and let's go ahead and create our storage account. So AZ storage account creates, and the name of it's going to be speed storage a s t o r g lab location will be our fate our new favorite region East U S resource group as I said speed storage dash rg the SKU will be standard lrs kind will be storage version 2 and our access tier tier will be hot so let's see if I have any tempos so let me just put up here Create storage account. So let me, this is from something I was doing earlier. Let me clear the screen. Let's run the command. And hopefully this will uh, work out. Uh, account is not. So let's take a look at this. I don't like errors. It's a simple one to fix. I think I spelled account incorrectly. A C C O U N T. Let's try that again. OK, 
Okay, and next time I spell standard incorrectly, D-A-R-D. All right, third time's a charm, isn't it? Well, third time wasn't a charm in this case. We need a dash there, it looks like. All right, fourth time is a charm. Oh, yes, and fourth time is a charm. So we have our first step, creating the storage account. Let's go look at our portal and see what exactly our command did. Let's refresh. And here it is, a create a storage account in East US. And we don't have any containers yet. That's going to be our next step. We're going to create two containers, one called images and one called thumbnails. So right now all we have is just a plain old storage account that's a uh, with LRS and version 2. So let's go back here and say create containers for our storage account. And let's go ahead and say here that uh, dollar sign blob storage account, C C O U N T, is equal to speed storage lab. This way we can use a little variable for our actions here. All right, so let's go ahead and create the containers that we need. We're gonna say dollar sign blob storage account key, because we're gonna need the key. Uh, so dollar sign AZ storage account, notice the two C's, not three, keys list. Dash G, for the it's a uh, G is a short way to say storage group. Speed storage dash R G, and then dash N is a short way to say uh, name. Dollar sign blob storage account. G U E R Y query. This is where it gets crazy. Bracket is zero bracket dot value. And we want a VA value double quote. Output TSV end quote. Notice they had the microphone off. So what we wanted, what I did here was, I had to run this command, which I didn't run to define the blob storage account. And I also had a spelling error. So I fixed the spelling error here. And I changed it here, here, and here. You might have spelled it correctly. So you might not have to take these changes. But again, this was spelled incorrectly and I forgot to run it. So this command fails. So I correct the spelling here, fixed it here, here, and here. Just ran this command and this command, and it worked. So I'm going to clear my screen and then go to this command and create that container. Account name, speed, storage, lab, it doesn't like, because that's a resource group now. All right, need a, need a dash here. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that in both locations. Let's run this again. All right, excellent. So let's run this one. Maybe we're on a roll now. Of course not. Let's see here. Based on the air command container, 
guessing that's not spelled correctly. Uh, your place I got a space. No, nope, that's right. Public wall. Public access account key. Our account key we have. Then we got public access should be container. So that looks right. So let's give it a try. Let me clear down here so it's nice and clean. And we're off. It's taking a while. There we go. So let's then go ahead and run this command. And there's our key that we need. So uh, go ahead and copy that to Notepad or something. All right, so let's go look at our portal and see what happened here. All I did, uh, let's go back to here to our overview. Now let's go to containers. And we should see two new containers. Let's refresh, and there they are. Notice here, one's private, and one is set to container level. And the way you see that, if you're creating the containers via the portal, when you click here, you have these three choices. So you can see here we went private here, and container for the second one. And you can see this was more secure, because we're gonna give a key to our web app to access the images, and we're gonna fix this uh, access later in the series. All right. So let's go move on. Next thing we need to do is create our web app for our storage account to access. So we'll go ahead and here say create web. Well, actually, before we create a web app, we need a app service plan. Because as you may know, if you went through my lab series on web apps under ARM templates, you know that the uh, app service plan is like the CPU for the web app. And web app is like the IS ISS instance. So let's go ahead and get the command. So AZ app service plan and of course it's like this create name speed web app plan and that's three P's resource group speed storage at RG and the SKU you'll love this three Go ahead and run that. And I think we're gonna have success here on the first try. How about that? And we did. And in the portal, what we should have now is a app service plan. We'll hit refresh. Hit refresh twice, hit refresh three times. That doesn't work. Let's go back home. Let's go to resource group and refresh again. Hmm, this is disturbing. We put it in a speed storage group. It finally showed up. So here it is. And this is what it looks like. So if you create to the portal, uh, what we're going to do now is scale. Well, notice here you can, you can scale up, meaning here's your app service plan that you can pick. And we picked a free one. And we're in dev test. You go to production, for example. These are different levels that you can pick here. Uh, what we're going to do next is and you can also do instances, but uh, let's you'll notice we have we don't have any apps right now, so we're gonna create the app. So here we go, create the web app. So, let's 
let's make a variable web app is equal to speed web app three AV web app creates name dollar sign web app. Now one thing to note is the name has to be unique across the whole Azure platform. So if you get, get an error where saying name's not unique or name error on the web app, just add a number to it. Uh, if you're doing it via the portal, you get that message right away. So that's why I got a three there. Resource group is speed storage.rg plan is speed web app plan. Should be the same as I'm just gonna take this here, make sure I get it right. And paste it in there. Alright. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so it looks like we were successful creating the web app plan. Let's go take a look. Now if we refresh here, will it show up yet? Oh, it does. Look at that. There it is, and it's running. So let's click here. We'll actually go to the resource. And we're running the free, on the free plan, which is excellent. And let's click here, so you can just make sure it's running. It says it's running. But at this point, you should get a web page, just a generic web page. And this is what you should be seeing. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use GitHub and download a sample app that's going to help us complete the series. So we are going to... Take this command here, and I'm going to scroll up here. Deploy web app from GitHub. It's called storage blob upload so I'm trying to get the name here upload from web app all right here is the command so we got a web app variable we got a resource group and then here's the command to actually install the web app. And I'll have this command. I always get copied from here verbatim, but also I have it in description just to save any typo errors. Let's come down here, clear the screen, and hit run. And this, I believe, takes about five minutes. Oh, looks like it was complete. Let's go back to here. And if everything works right, or is working right, we should get a different web page. And we do. And this is our image resizer app. And what should happen eventually, once we do a couple more commands, is we're gonna drop an image here, and it's automatically going to go into our 
Uh, ignore that. That's uh, just my uh, work computer. It's going to go into our storage container called images. So, uh, so what do we have to do? Well, we have to give permission or the key to our web app so it can do that. So let's do that next. So let's go ahead and set the count credentials, E-N-T-I-A, in the web app app settings. All right, well, what does that mean? What are we talking about? Well, what we're talking about is, let's go back to the web app. Go ahead and refresh, ah, there we go. And under configuration, I do believe, our application settings, and we're gonna add access to our storage account here. And you'll see those commands here in a second. Let's go back here. Okay, let's get started here with our commands. We're gonna do az web app config app settings set. Name will be dollar sign web app. Resource RESRURC group will be speed storage.rg. Nice and convenient for me to be right above this line. And settings. Oh, excuse me, your storage config. Notice there are two underscores here. Not one, but two. Count name equals dollar sign blob storage account. Make sure I have that right. There we go. This is going to be a long line. Is your storage config underscore image container equal to images? And remember, like I just forgot, this is two underscores. We're going to take the same command right here. Make sure there's a space and paste. And we're gonna change this to thumbnail. Change this to thumbnails. Oops, one S. And then Azure storage config. We're almost done here. Account key is equal to dollar sign and Bob storage account key, which we have right here. Okay, now I just want to make sure our variables are valid. Make sure they didn't time out or anything. That looks good there. That looks good there. So let's go ahead and run our command. Uh, AZ web, web app config. Yes, there should be a space there. Do a CLS clear. We got our space. Let's see what happens. Another error. Hmm. Unrecognized arguments. Let's take a look at this. I think I pasted too much. We got the count name here. 
and images, then we have this again. So yeah, I went too far with my copy. So the thumbnail, yeah, now I think we've got it. Let's clear the screen. And go. Still not correct. This is holy cow. All right, so web at config. All right, I need my two underscores here. Now let's try it. We've got underscore, underscore, underscore. Okay, it still thinks the storage account name is equal to speed storage lab. Let me save this. Maybe it's reading a cache copy. Untitled underscore untitled three. Now I'm going to run it. Nope, oh, wasn't the save problem. Okay, found the issue. Need two dashes here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. Now let's try it. Okay, so that worked. Let me, I'm going to include this line in the description as well. But just in case here, I'll pause here. So you can look at it for about 10 seconds. Then I'll move the move over and stay there for another 10 seconds. So you compare yours to mine. There you go. I'd say the key things to look at is these two underscores. And of course the dashes. Uh, so that's where I messed up. I needed two dashes here, two dashes here. Of course, there's a dash there, a space there. So we're looking pretty good now. So now let's go back to our portal. We'll do a refresh. And we should see those settings. So here's the account key. Here's the account name. Here's our images container. And here's our thumbnails container. So now if we go back to overview, click on our website. And now we're going to put a, drag a photo to here or a picture and it's going to magically show up, or I should say programmatically, right? Show up in our images storage group. So here we go. Disappeared. If I go to storage group, images and containers, images and there it is so pretty 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 good and uh, we're gonna add stuff to this uh, web app and deal, learn more about storage groups web apps and logic apps so this is a pretty cool lab four parts this is part one I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you on uh, part two thanks for watching Actually, I wanted to add one more thing to this part one since I got some time. What we're going to do is we're going to add a picture to thumbnails and it should show up on our web page right here. In future labs, we're going to add a photo here and it's automatically going to show up here. But for now, we need to drag it in here and it should show up here. So we're going to go to our thumbnails and we're going to upload a picture to our blob. Select a file. We'll click uh, Speed Racer again. Say open. Upload. And that's done. So now if we go to our web page and there it is. So pretty, pretty, pretty good. So now I'm finished.
All right. Talk to you guys later.